Hi guys, and welcome to part 87 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now, all of the mods I'm going to show you in this video are mods that I tested out on my live stream on Monday, where I was testing a lot of Skyrim mods, and I want to extend a big thank you to everyone who joined me there and helped me, advised me, and so on. And if you are interested in seeing that, if you missed it, it is actually recorded. I will leave a link down below and you can watch the entire thing. It is rather long, of course. It's over one and a half hours, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And I will be doing that next Monday as well. The first mod I'm going to show you is called Follower Commentary Overhaul, or FCO for short. And it is a great mod. If you've ever played Skyrim with followers, you know that their lines can get a little bit repetitive. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will see. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will see. Or I might not. We will see. I mean, I love Kajo. He's a great follower. But there are times that I do have to resist the urge to throttle him. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Now, what this mod does is it just unlocks a lot of lines of dialogue that seem to have been basically removed or hidden. And suddenly, he's saying so many new things, things I've never heard him say before. Um, it makes him so much more interesting. All this talk of dragons returning to the world makes me more than a little nervous. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. In every part of Skyrim, there is talk of dragon sightings. It is no coincidence. Let us hope that if there are dragons, there are only a few, and they are not too foul-tempered. Now, I'm not actually going to show you that many of them, because I don't want to ruin the surprise, actually. I think this is one of those mods where it's best if you just install it, play, and hear them yourself, because it just it adds a little bit more depth to the characters, and the surprise is... Well, it's just very pleasant. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. I can tell you that you can actually turn on and off all the different voices that are unlocked, and you can even change how often the comments are made. So if, if you find the comments a little too annoying, if they're coming a little too often, you can just crank the frequency down. 100% is supposed to be the vanilla amount. And, you know, I think for a lot of people, turning that down to, say, 20 or 30% might actually be better. Then your, then your uh, followers will make comments every few minutes rather than, you know, every few seconds. Honestly, I know I'm not giving you much to go on here because, as I said, I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, I don't want to show you all of the lines. And, in fact, myself, I've only heard the lines from Kajo. So I'm assuming all of the other followers have the same treatment. But so far in my Let's Play, I'm really loving these new lines. It really makes the character come a little bit more alive to me and a little less rage-inducing. If you are getting annoyed by the commentary made by your companions, by your followers, install this mod. It will help. The next mod is a mod called Animated Clutter. And what it does is it adds animations to several items that you would expect animations for. So, for example, when you open satchels, it, in the vanilla game, they just open. It's a sort of an instantaneous process. Uh, same is true with things like sacks, um, even coffins. And, and they just, there's no actual feeling of opening. This mod adds such an animation. So you get a brief feeling of, of the, the satchel being opened, the coffin being opened, and so on. And it just adds a tiny edge of realism. It's kind of similar to the um, Smim mod that adds those barrels that open, but it adds it to many, many more items. But it's not just containers that have animations added. It's things like the Underforged Door in Whiterun. which is kind of cool. And there are now even animations for some of the doors in the Grey Quarters in Windhelm, which prior to this did not actually have them. 
This mod actually changes quite a lot of items from trap doors, um, several different types of coffins and so on. And it's one of the mods that I actually don't notice pretty much immediately. It feels perfectly natural. I'm opening the satchel and it opens with an animation. That just feels right. And that is the hallmark of a great mod. It It is actually so immersive, you stop noticing it. You probably would only notice it if you removed it and suddenly everything stopped animating. It also adds an animation to at least one ship that I've found, which is very cool. Gives it a kind of slight rocking motion. But unfortunately, there is a slight problem with clipping on some of the fixed objects like the dock planks and unfortunately, the door, which is a fixed object. So that's a little unfortunate because it's a very cool effect. Luckily, this is less of a problem than you might imagine because you can choose to do a custom install. Instead of installing everything, you do a custom install, select the animations that you want and just skip the ones that you don't want. Uh, obviously, that includes the ship animations, which are right there, ship idols. I'm going to have the ship's trapdoors and everything else, actually. Um, so for me, this is a no-brainer. Great mod, adds a lot of immersion, animations are brilliant, and you can choose the, the exact ones you want. Going in my load order and staying there. One of the features that appeared in Skyrim that was a little different to, say, Oblivion, was the conversation mechanic. So, for example, if I speak to Kajo now, nothing really changes. Um, I, I just get the dialogue over here, but the image is exactly the same. And if I stop, it's as if nothing had changed. And the same is true if I do third person. So I can talk to John here and nothing changes. And that's a little different to how it was in previous games. Now, I happen to like that mechanic. However, a lot of people miss the kind of intimacy you got when having conversations in games like Oblivion. And with a mod called Face to Face Conversations, you can have exactly that. When you talk to Kajo here, as you saw, I zoomed in. So I'm having a very close up conversation with him. It's a little bit more personal, a little bit more, well, intimate. And the effect is even more noticeable if you play in third person. I mean, conversation in third person is very impersonal. So, with this mod, zooms right in for that face-to-face -face conversation again. Now, don't worry if you like to play third person and stay in third person for the conversation, because that is still an option. You can change it in the mod configuration. Turn off the auto-switch FP, first person. And now when you initiate the conversation, it still zooms in for a more intimate face-to-face -face type experience, but you're still in third person. And as you probably noticed when I was changing that, there are several other things you can alter, including the field of view when you are talking. So if you want to reduce these a little bit or increase them perhaps, I mean, perhaps you, you think it's a little too close, so you want to move it a tiny bit away. You can do so. And now it won't zoom in quite as much. There you go. In general, I think this is a great idea for a mod. Obviously, it's going to come down to personal taste, but I think this is especially useful for people who do like to play in third person, but still want a slightly more intimate and immersive experience when having conversations. I think this is a really great idea. We will see. And finally, the last mod I'd like to talk about in this video is a mod I'd love to show you but I'm afraid I can't. The mod is called The Shrine to Kajo. And the mod author has not posted any pictures on the mod download page precisely because he wants, well, he wants it to be a surprise when you get in there. And I'm going to honor his wishes, but I do feel that if you have ever played with Kajo as your follower and you have fond memories of him, you might want to download this and check it out. It's a very simple mod. It adds 
absolutely nothing. And of course, if Kajo is not dead, having a shrine to him might seem a little odd. But if you have, if you have played alongside Kajo with his many little strangenesses, I think you will appreciate this mod. I think it will bring a smile to your face. It certainly brought one to mine. And so I'm going to end this video right there. And of course, I am going to end with some screenshots that you guys have been posting. If you want to post screenshots for me to use in these videos, you are more than welcome. I will put a link down below to the Nexus page. Just go along to the image section and post your own. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much to everyone who has contributed so far. I will be having another live streaming mod testing for Skyrim on Monday at 8.30pm Central European Time and you are more than welcome to join me there for a little bit of fun and perhaps to even suggest some mods that you would like to see me try. And of course I will be making a Skyrim Mod Sanctuary video sometime shortly after that and you are more than welcome to join me for that as well. But. Whichever video or live stream you decide to join me on, I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember, as always, have fun. <laughs>